So, hello my friends. Uh, this is Father Zerilli with our reflection for this Monday of the fifth week of Lent. You know, today I actually want to talk about the opening prayer. Uh, you know, during the Lenten season, and this is one of the reasons why Lent is one of my uh, really favorite seasons of the year, the church actually provides a different set of mass prayers for each and every day during Lent. And what, I mean, what I mean by the mass prayers are the, the opening prayer, the prayer over the gifts, and the prayer after communion. Now, now typically during the rest of the year, we have a single set of prayers uh, that we use for the entire week. So for example, uh, the mass prayers uh, said on the 10th Sunday of Ordinary Time, we will also use those same prayers uh, the entire week during the daily masses. But not, not during Lent. Uh, there's a different set every day. And they are, in my opinion, uh, some of those beautiful and compelling prayers of the entire year. That's one of the reasons I like Lent so much. Let me share with you uh, today's prayer, today's opening prayer for Monday, the fifth week of Lent. O oh God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. That's a great prayer. Uh, the idea uh, captures perfectly not only our hopes for the Lenten journey, uh, but also reveals to us our goal, if you will, uh, our sacred task that's in front of us for the whole of our life as disciples of Christ. See, we are to pass from former ways. In other words, there was the way we were before we came to know Jesus Christ and the way we are now, now that we've made a commitment to follow him as his disciple. Now, there may be, uh, it may be that we've been Catholic our whole life, uh, but yet uh, at some point in everyone's life, you have to take the, the faith that's passed from your, your parents and make it my faith, right? So there's that way we were before we made that choice, and the way we are now, that we made a commitment to be his disciple. And there should be a difference between then and now. I mean, not only a difference in our interior attitudes or the new hope that we have as Christian disciples, and, and it certainly should not just be a superficial difference only, right? But it should, all, but it should be a, a difference that is concrete, a difference that people can see, a difference that permeates and informs every single aspect of our lives and truly the entire course of our lives. You know, this difference, this newness, right? It's like what St. Paul said in uh, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5. He said, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. Right? And he speaks similarly in, in many other places. Uh, so you see that, that difference between then and and now that I know Christ. Well, our opening prayer continues. Uh, we ask God to help us to pass from those former ways so that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. And the idea here is that for those who have so perfectly and completely left behind the old ways of the world, right, and have so fully embraced Jesus Christ and his gospels that once we get to the heavenly kingdom, it will be like home for us, right? We're, we're already ready for it. We've been living the life of the kingdom already on earth. So much so that when we get there, there's, there's no need for purgatory. There's no earthly attachments to be rid of. There's no worldliness that must be purged from us. There's no encumbrance of any sin that would impede our direct entry into heaven. We're, we're already living the life of heaven while on earth, so that when we get there, we're right at home. What a lofty goal it is, right? But it's a goal that is not merely an ideal. Don't ever fall into that trap, right? This is a goal that is attainable through God's grace, which is precisely what we're asking for in today's opening prayer. Once again, oh God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing. Grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you.